hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel this is the platform where i come and share my knowledge and experience with you all so without further delay let's start the today's topic so today's topic is about uh, the uh, is about the copilot and ai features and the functionalities which we are talking in the last video we have spoken about copilot in d65 finance now today we are going to talk about copilot in supply chain and we are going to take one example which we have in this area which supports this uh, copilot uh, feed uh, functionality now this is the structure which we have put together where we can understand that what are the features and the functionalities which we have as part of copilot and ai we have seen things about sidecar copilot for finance along with the copilot in finance feature which we have spoken in the last video today's focus is around the confirmed po changes workspace which we have as part of copilot in supply chain now just to clarify that this particular feature you can use with or without copilot uh, so it can be used without the copilot but copilot helps you to uh, generate some additional functionalities and help you to analyze more efficiently so we are going to uh, understand that uh, feature in this particular video let's understand the use case what are the use case which we have so let's uh, let's let's see that uh, let, let's take an example that purchase orders are confirmed by the procurement team and they are uh, they are released to the supplier now due to some changes some regions the pos are amended uh, it can be delivery date quantity new line addition or there can be some changes from the supplier side due to the fulfillment request or something now as a procurement uh, team uh, it is very very much important for you to understand the impact of these changes downstream now these related orders uh, to this purchase order can be your production orders can be your uh, sales orders or the demands which you have created now these orders related orders can have a uh, can have impact now to assess that what type of impact it has and how it can impact and how you can communicate these changes or the impact to your supplier that is where your this workspace and the copilot helps you now as as part of this uh, workspace what uh, what copilot offers you is that it categorizes the changes into uh, into three categories where we have low impact changes where you have an example of let's say there is a changes uh, in the quantity or the delivery date so it also copilot also helps you to generate the text for reviewing that you have high impact changes and then also due to these changes what are the downstream orders which have got impacted uh, it it you can uh, analyze from this workspace now let's uh, log into dynamics and uh, see that how we can uh, uh, see this particular feature in dynamics and what it does so i'm going to change it to dynamics screen just give me a moment okay so we are in microsoft dynamics 365 so now uh, the prerequisites to this is similar to our previous video where we have enabled microsoft in uh, uh, we, we have enabled copilot in microsoft uh, dynamics 365 finance similarly you also need to enable and install the app in your uh, power platform admin center for uh, copilot in supply chain and uh, you have to add the required security roles and uh, you also need to make sure that you have the license configuration enabled sql chain stacking is is enabled for you if all these things are there then after that you will be able to see the copilot related uh, copilot uh, related features for the supply chain in the finance and operations okay so now if i quickly go to confirm purchase order changes this is the workspace now this workspace as i said uh, can be used or can be used with or without the copilot uh, it is not necessary that you have to use with the copilot 
Copilot helps you to generate some uh, text or the analysis for each and every category and helps you to communicate to the vendor using the pre-generated tax text which we have it okay now if you see on this particular uh, uh, on this particular workspace you have three categories I have low impact changes so there are zero and I have high impact changes we have one which is talking about that uh, one line with the delivery delay so so the high impact changes is that there is a delay in the delivery now due to that uh, one purchase order there are two demand forecast two planned order uh, planned Kanban orders and six production line and the six orders are getting impacted so it is telling me that due to that high impact change how many downstream orders are getting impacted now i if you see i have a one uh, the show option here which can show the each and every category order so if I click on show here it is just showing me the orders which are no which have low impact whereas we do not have anything then we have high impact changes and then it shows me the order here then which item in this order has this problem and then you have the related uh, orders impacted here and then similarly if I click on show here it is going to show me all the 16 orders of different categories and different different reference types which got impacted due to this particular purchase order change and are available here and we can see that against every order the same purchase order is getting reflected here so this is what you have it as part of this particular workspace till here there is no uh, nothing which you have it uh, uh, possibly as part of copilot but how copilot can help you is that it can give you some analysis uh, here that is one thing and then it also helps you to send uh, a teams message or send an email to your supplier uh, and then you can communicate directly so if your supplier has got a valid email address now you can just uh, the system can utilize that and send an email so if I click on the send email so every time right now Microsoft will give you the warning that it is a AI generated text uh, you should be reading and reviewing carefully before you send it out so let's say if I want to generate yes I would say yes and this is going to uh, give me a one uh, uh, email which can which I can just look at and then see that what uh, text it has uh, generated for me so let me bring this to the let me bring this to to the screen so just give me a moment okay so now hope you can see this uh, email which has been generated so it is saying request for change on order this if you see it has picked up a email address from the supplier uh, master and then it is saying dear vendor i hope this message finds you well i am writing to discuss some changes that need to be made regarding the order 16 after careful consideration I regret to inform you that we cannot accept the proposed changes as they would significantly impact our business operations and upon reviewing the requirements for the quantity and the delivery date I would like to request you the following changes to be made and we kindly ask you to fulfill these quantities by this particular date so copilot is helping you in analyzing those changes the impact of those changes and drafting the email for you to 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 look at uh, that how it is impacting your organization so that is how it is helping you now same thing i can do by clicking on the send uh, teams message so the same message which i have it uh, for my uh, for my email i can have for my uh, teams as well so i can just look at the message that okay what uh, teams message it is sending me sending to your supplier 
so if you see it uh, on the teams as well it is putting the same message content which you can see here and it is uh, using the copilot so there the copilot role is and how it is helping you to uh, generate the text and making sure you can communicate with your supplier very easily okay so these are the things which you have as part of this particular workspace and this is the one feature which we have in copilot in d365 supply chain I think this is just a start. Uh, Microsoft is going to add more and more capabilities around this area. But the base and the type of features which we are going to have are going to similar in nature. It is going to ease out the communication with your supplier analysis and other areas where we take a lot of time. It is going to save us time using this copilot and AI capabilities which we have it. Now this copilot uh, a feature is part of your responsible AI where uh, this particular workspace is confirmed confirm purchase order which changes workspace is based on that. So if uh, this 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 feature uh, takes changes to confirm purchase order as input and then identify the downstream orders that are related to those purchase orders. And this feature uses Copilot to uh, generate uh, natural uh, language summarize summarize and draft communication for vendors and it uses copilot uses the gpt 3.5 turbo generative ai model to generate the natural language content summarized and con uh, content uh, summaries and the contents are uh, generated from the data records stored in the system including the products purchase order and the vendors so it uses the data which you have in your environment okay so that is a quick uh, video uh, about this particular feature and also talking about microsoft uh, copilot in microsoft d65 supply chain area that's it for this video uh, hope you like this video and we are going to talk about a new copilot or ai feature uh, in the future uh, in the future video till then thank you and thank you for watching this take care